going to do any old openings or anything that takes a lot of time today, I'm going to crack straight on with this dip powder. If you've seen the last video, uh, you will have seen me swatch these, which is a set uh, called Light to the Touch. And it's the Model 1's uh, set of dip powders. And um, I've decided, I, I said I would show you French, so I've decided to carry on playing. And I'll show you with these two colours. What should I do those two? Oh, with these two. So I'll show you with these uh, French by dipping the end and uh, ombre type French. And I'll probably do some colour block. Um, so what I've got ready is I've got uh, a piece of, in fact I'll get a clean bit because I've been playing on there. Um, a piece of kitchen roll, just in case I want to wipe my brush at any point. I've got a, a, a brush I use just for powder. This is uh, just an eyeshadow or blending eye brush, just from a cheap supermarket. These little pots, these all come in uh, a packet from Shein. You can buy specific ones to do French if you have a look on Amazon and stuff. Uh, but I thought these would do the job, so I got all over these ages ago. So I've got the normal uh, one to four. Don't need three and four at the minute. Three and four is the gel and the brush saver. So one and two mainly I'm going to be using. Uh, the white I've already put in there. And then this is the number one. Now along with number one, I've got a paper cup that I'm going to be sprinkling into. So, different techniques. I'll just do it on a, a little tip uh, and same if you're using any sort of plastic things I'll just give it a quick buff or on your own nail and just take your shine off use your dehydrator, push your cuticle through all your normal prep uh, and then take the shine off your nail because you want these to stay, don't you? So, first off I'm going to try and get the angle right so you can see what I'm doing so I'm not zooming in too much just in case uh, I go out of frame too much but what angle is going to be decide what angle is going to be good for you to see what you're doing uh, I've got a bit of fluff in that one nice have I got it? no Right, so the angle I want is going to be like that, I think. Right, so that'll do. Can you see it there? Yeah. So, number one, brush this all over. All over your nail and don't get it on your cuticles or your sidewalls because it will stick to that. If you do wipe it off before you dip, but you don't want to wait forever because this will start to dry. So, nice coverage, not too thick. And I'm just going to dip how far I want the French to go. So I'll keep that so it can't move anywhere. And we're going to dip this about, about that much. Need to be slightly higher at one side. So I'm just going to touch that side in a little bit. Yeah, that'll do. And then this one... I'm going to sprinkle onto the nail bed. And then we'll leave this 60 seconds. I'm not pushing it in. To the pot because I don't want to disturb that white. So that's that. So if you were doing them on all your nails, you don't want to paint your base one onto all your nails because they will have dried by the time you've got faffed about with these. So start with the nail you want to do first, 
put your base on, dip your white, sprinkle your colour, leave it, move on. Paint your base coat, dip your white, sprinkle your colour and move on. And by the time you get back to the end, you'll be able to brush these off. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so then after 60 seconds, you can brush that down. So that's the first, that's the start of it. So that's coat one. Same again, tap that down. Check that you've got your pot at the angle. I think I'm going to have to come. No. Like that. Yeah. So I've got to try and get this in the same place. Tip it downwards and then do this. It keeps going see through. You need more powder on because it's soaking it up. Oh, touched it. Right. So, 60 seconds. I'll brush that off. There we go. Right, so that's my white. I've got a clear. Uh, I've written on it. I've written on it somewhere. There. The clear is uh, number 12. So I don't want to file onto that. I want to put clear on top. So I've got number one again. I can dip this one. So I'll let that settle. 60 seconds, brush it off, and then I'll activate it. Okay, so brush that off. Activate and wait 60 seconds. So this is number two. Yeah. 
Seems like a lot of waiting around, but it isn't if you're doing your own nails because you can move on to the next nail. So that's cured with the activator. Can you see how smooth it is? You'll you'll not really need an awful lot of buffing, but I've done the clear on top so I don't get all that off it. So let's move in so I'm not filing on that. So I'm just going to smooth it down. When you're putting your nail in, it can be a bit thicker on the outside edge. Can you see? I might want to smooth a little bit more there, because that's where it's picking up most of the uh, powder. Uh, so I'm going to use the number three, which is the uh, gel that comes with it, which you let dry on its own it's a 60 seconds and then a second coat definitely need a second coat but that is beautiful and dead easy so you don't even have to be able to paint straight lines you just need to be able to try and have a fairly steady hand to go in what's that so that's the first one right now we'll do uh ombre Okay, so same again, get a tip. Little buff. Gonna get another brush. That's so whatever colours you're using, I'd recommend two brushes. So I've got one for the white. May as well leave that in that pot and one for this. That's what I'll keep them at the right sides. Okay, so number one. So that's your base. Now I want the white to be quite white at the end, so I'm just going to dip the very end in like that. Oops, come up here. So I'll dip the end in like that, and then I'm going to get some white and I'm going to sprinkle so far up the nail. And I'm going to get the pink and I'm going to sprinkle down from there. That's it. Don't brush it off yet, just leave it. Leave it to settle and keep your brushes separate. Okay, 60 seconds. That's it. Now that that's all sprinkled into there can go back in that pot. And I can use this. Because this is going to be like mixed colours. I've got a pot that says, I'll show you. I've got a pot that I sprinkle them all into. And then one day I'm going to have a look and see what colour I've ended up with. But this has got pink and glitter and all sorts in it. <laughs> so I'll tip it all in there at the end instead of tipping it back into these. So let's brush him off. That's just the start. So I'll do that again. Number one. So 
I think you probably as well with three coats on this. But in the white, just so I've got definite white on the bottom. And then the pink. Oops. A bit clumsy. So I'll leave that a minute. So because I'm doing more than two layers, I think I'm going to activate before I do the layer on top. So I'll activate that. That's number two. Use dip powders in a well ventilated room. Try and not have your head directly over any fumes from activated liquid. Like when you're using any glues or anything. So that's the start of it. I've just missed that edge sprinkling a little bit, but again, we're doing three coats. It's not right thick. It's not clumpy. And because I've got the activator on, I'm just going to get that on my just with a dry pad. And then I'm going to do number one again. And because I've activated before, be careful to wipe your brush off before you put it back in to there. So I'm going to dip some white and we'll sprinkle white. And then sprinkle pink. Make sure I get that edge this time. It's not as wasteful as pouring. Just make sure I get the edges. Right up. Let that sit. So same as with doing the French, if you're doing all your nails, then you do number one, sprinkle your, keep your finger down this way. Dip the end of the white if you want to. If you don't, just sprinkle the white on, but keep your finger down and then sprinkle the pink on. Keep your finger down and then move on to your next one. Base, white, pink, and then when you get to the end, about 60 seconds will have gone anyway. When I do the colour block, I'm going to do it by dipping into those. So you could get... Uh, I probably won't dip them into them. Say we're doing a red and white block. But when the colours are quite toned, uh, I think you'll be okay. 
So if you've got enough layers of that and that's thick enough, you could buff that down and then put a clear on top. But I'm going to dip in a clear and then I'll buff it down. We'll have a look at that with the top coat, which is number three. There you go. So that's your ombre. So we've got a French and an ombre so far. Okay, next colour block Oops. right so we're going to dip colour block for this but we need to get the tops of these as flat as we possibly can not so much the white because I'm going to sprinkle that but these two particularly because I'm going to put those two down on the bottom corners and then I'm going to have white at the top I'm going to dip into that and then I'm going to dip into that so a tiny little bit of that will go in there and vice versa but they're so near in colour I'm, I'm not bothered I can just mix in, but I don't want to then put all that lot in my white, yeah? So I've got a clean cupcake holder and I've got, which is my white one? That one. So I've got my white sprinkler. So decide where you want it before you put your base on. So number one base, there's different ways you can do this colour block, you can use masking tape or you can just paint the bits that you want to put that colour on, but I'm going to do this one like this. So I'm going to go for dark, it's not a strip, it's not flat. Dark like that. Light like that. And then sprinkling of white. Yeah, I'm still in frame. There we go. We're going in frame just. So I'll leave that 60 seconds and then we'll uh, shake it up. Same again. Grey. That's it. 
and then the one right here. Black activate. I'm going to paint some metallic gel on that. I think that's going to look nice. for gold so before we start filing cover this lot up so I'm gonna just encapsulate that in clear like I did with the others because it's an activator give it a little light any residual activator on. So it's had one coat of number three. Get off. And I'm going to paint some gold on it. Well, job done. Okay, so that's your three. We've got your dipped French, colour block and ombre. So three different ways of using your dip powder. Easy peasy. Don't even need a lamp if you don't want to paint that line down it. Or you can use ordinary uh, nail polish or striping tape. You could use striping tape if you can't paint a straight line. So, yeah. If I can do it, you can do it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. If you have, please consider clicking the like and subscribing. And uh, we'll be back with loads more videos. So if you click the bell, you'll know when I'm on. Thank you very much. Take care. Look after each other. Bye.